Those are the first 100 digits of pi, the ratio between a circle's diameter and its circumference. The circumference of a circle is pi times its diameter. This holds true for all circles, making pi a mathematical constant. Today is known as Pi Day because the representation of the month and day, 314, matches the first digits of pi. Pi has an infinite number of digits, and they do not repeat. This makes it an irrational number, meaning its value can't be expressed as a simple fraction of one integer over another. Pi has been calculated to 1.2 trillion digits, but in most cases you'll only need about 40, which is sufficient to calculate the circumference of the observable universe to within the width of a hydrogen atom. But some people memorize the digits of pi for recreational purposes. The current record for memorization is 100,000 digits. There have been many attempts to find patterns in the digits of pi, but so far none have been found. It is believed that pi is a normal number, meaning every digit appears with equal frequency, making it indistinguishable from a sequence of random numbers. Pi appears to be normal, however this has not been proven. If pi is normal, then because its digits are infinite, they contain every finite sequence of digits. For example, somewhere within the digits of pi, there is a digital representation of every video I haven't made yet. The contents of your hard drive are inside pi, every unreleased album is inside pi, there are trade secrets, the source code for Windows, anything you can think of, it's in there somewhere. Of course, that's assuming pi really is normal, but it seems to be, and if it is, it contains everything.